Hello and welcome to Late Night Creatures. Uh, today is our first themed episode. Well, tonight is our first themed episode. I've decided to start doing themes to sort of uh, keep my thoughts all together. But uh, today's theme is robots. Gonna be drawing robots. Uh, I was having a discussion with a friend of mine who said the robots really didn't count as creatures since people made them, but it's time to prove them wrong. Because uh, we're gonna draw creature robots. We aren't gonna draw your normal like little person robots who are like, oh, I'm a, I'm a man masquerading as. We we aren't we aren't. That's that's not what we're gonna be doing. We're going to be drawing robots that are more animalistic creature robots. So let's get to it. Alright, I guess we'll... Let's start drawing, like, a robot head. Robots are very angular. It's a lot of... It's a, a bit of a departure from the normal, very organic stuff I've done on this show so far. So that's going to be interesting. We'll see how it goes. Gonna give him a nice little eye. Yeah. All right. I don't know what. Yeah. I, yeah. I have no idea what's going on, but that's quite all right. You know. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes that happens. Wrinkles are also out of the question because they're robots and they don't have those, which is another thing I like to do a lot. So we're a bit out of bit out of the comfort zone. So yeah. Give him a neck. <laughs> He's a little it looks like a bird. So I guess it's gonna be a bird robot. Let's go. Make it a bird robot. I don't draw birds a lot either. This is a interesting experience and a lot of a lot of regards here Get a little screw aww he's a cutie give him a little like I guess a uh, claw hand here bam there we go can also have a second foot Coming out like this. There we go. <laughs> awesome. Little bird man. Give him a nice plate on the back of his head. I guess instead of wrinkles and details, I'm just going to be doing like metal plates. Yeah, like that. Like that. He'll be separated there. More of a beak. Alright, cool. Little robot bird. Nice little, nice little robot bird there. All right. So we have um. Wait, he can't fly, yet. I just realized birds have to fly, and this is a robot bird, so those wings probably don't have the amount of lift they should have. So instead, we're gonna do just a nice little. That's not far enough. It's a nice little swirly. going around yeah nice little propeller moving around there giving him some lift there we go awesome so <laughs> he's up there um, <clears throat> I'll give him something to hold on to what do bird robots like or it can be feeding so <laughs> I got an idea so it can be feeding its bird robot <clears throat> babies Sorry, it's bird robot babies. Some oil there, just coming around. <laughs> I need a drip. So now I need to draw the nest, which will be just a nice, a nice vat of um, also oil. <laughs> Might as well. <clears throat> Might as well. I lost my voice. I'm 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 losing my voice. Been having to do a lot of 
stuff with it recently, singing and such. Uh, so that's an issue, but it's cool. We'll get around it. That just looks like a normal bird, but it's all right. It's it's a, it's simple enough to be a robot. They're <laughs> the little bird babes. Babes is in babies, not <clears throat> not girls. One of them's one of them's a girl. One of them's a boy. They're brother and sister. Uh, neither one's adopted. So there they are. They're getting just the uh, little drip, little oil drip into the into the drum. So the babies don't even really eat it until it's in the drum, I suppose. Sort of wait until it's ready, ready, ready for them to ingest. <laughs> yeah, there, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> like the, like the little bird. All right. So that's what's going on right now. That's what we got. So now we need uh, another robot. Um, so we have the bird bird robot. I don't know what what else. Well, I guess I have to make the choice. Should I be should I be nice to the bird or mean to the bird? You know, because uh, I could draw a predator, a, a predator. I could also draw just a friend. Uh, so I don't know what to do. Uh, give me a sec. Alright. Alright, tails. I didn't call it. Hold on. Okay, alright. Heads, friend, tails, predator. Just because, you know, it'd be tailing it because it's a predator. Tails. Good. <laughs> Didn't want to draw another nice thing. All right. Uh, <laughs> he's going to be big. As I think is necessary. There we go. Give him a nice bear trap mouth. Yeah. <laughs> this is fun. This is going to be a good creature. I can. These are thick lines. Doing thick lines. That's all good, though. Open this up here. Yeah. Nice. Oh, wait. Need to have that turned up. All right. So now we have the start of an awful, terrible creature. A nice scary monster mouth. Just nice right here. Oh man. Alright, I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna sort of try and like layer this layer these metal plates. So it looks Yeah, kinda slated and not super Yeah, not super Normal. I, just, I, I don't need it to look like a normal mouth. I need to... Need to... I hit the mic. I need to clearly... Clearly make it a, a, a monster. Or not a monster. A robot mouth. Robot monster mouth. Um... Oh, okay. Here's a movie recommendation. Because I... This... Drawing the robot monsters made me think of it. Uh, if you have Netflix. Or... I think it was on Netflix. But number nine is a very good stop motion movie. Uh, it's a really good animated movie that has uh, monster robots in it. It's really cool. Uh, so check it out. It's it's is <laughs> there's an eye. It's good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh no. I don't. Not sure how I. How I feel about this. Quite yet. I have to sort of see where it where it goes yeah <laughs> he doesn't he kind of looks just silly he doesn't look too imposing right now there's no real fear factor to him he's kind of just a silly silly mouth man 
He looks kind of like the uh, the toilets from Captain Underpants. While I'm giving recommendations, Captain Underpants is a fantastic book series, even if you're like an adult or a teenager, um, and you should read it because it's very good. And the movie was also good. The movie did the books very good justice. Let's <laughs> look at him. Cool. Um, I guess he's a fish. He kind of looks. He looks like a fish, so he's gonna be a fish. So I gotta, cause he's got the big mouth. Yeah, he's just totally a fish. So I gotta get the fish, fish vibe going. He's the the sky fish. Huge, uh, huge mouth, tiny head. Oh, well, I saw that a little too late. Uh, but I'll I'll add a tiny head later. It's it's good. It's good. We well we got to cover. We got to cover. Okay. So we got this going. There's a little his little tail out out there. There he goes. Oh, you know what that kind of looks like? Let's let's do that. Let's let's do that. Kind of looks like a, a rocket thruster, tiny bit. So let's let's pump out some some fire there. Yeah, just a nice nice crisp burn there we go man alright that's not too good oh man what a disgusting what a disgusting robot who made that I mean I did but like in in this universe who's making these robots in all honesty it's sort of just Ugh. Probably someone with a lot of free time, but uh, you know what? This is late night creatures. I and it's my show. I can do whatever I want. So let's draw the person who's created these robots. Watching his. So this is his. Okay, so this is the um. Basically, the the testing room. So it's it's a world where it's been. A animals have all gone extinct. There's no more animals. And so they're making robot animals to replace the animals. And so they're watching to make sure that this all works. Even though they aren't perfectly recreating this uh, ecosystem in any way. They are, um, they are working on it. Doing a, doing a fine job. So we gotta get these uh the creators of these robots in here so we'll have um the first man uh the first scientist man right here with his glasses he's he's looking he's he's curious he's he's curious in here um yeah he's <laughs> writing stuff down feverishly yeah, there we go. <laughs> Here he is. So I guess he's he's probably the guy just taking taking notes. He's the he's the taking notes guy. Who's just trying to keep up and basically say, okay, how's this how's this working right now? And then next to him we'll have the actual inventor who's just like, ah, what do you think? I did a pretty good job, huh? I wonder if these are guys with good or bad intentions, because in the world I've described, it seems like good intentions, because they're trying to, you know, replace the animals, but also they're making it to where there's a giant uh, skyfish and um, that eat kind mother birds. So I don't know if this is, uh, they're veiled in evil, but... <clears throat> I have to sort of see where that takes us, and then here's the here's the creator. He is he's a master tinkerer. That's what they call him. <laughs> it's, oh, that's just twisting. He's just he's a master tinkerer. There he is, very happy, happy with his happy with his work. He's, <laughs> he's so proud. Just like yes, this is my legacy. 
This is my legacy. I did this. <laughs> there they are. Uh, the science boys. Nice. They're there. Watching their creations. So I guess we have we have room and time for another another monster. I just don't know what to what to do. God, there's bound to be there's bound to be a robot of some sort that So we have a prey and we have predator but we don't have what are we missing? Honestly, I have no idea, but there needs to be something else chilling out. Um what, hey, what, this is live, and there's people watching. What should, what robot animal do, do I need? And while I'm waiting for some stuff, I'm gonna just sort of try and add more details to the fish bot. So he has the gills. Nope, can't do that, that's wrinkles. So he has the gills. Maybe he has two, two ventilation gills. Oh, and those are ventilators, and so there will be, like, steam coming out of those. Yeah. There we go. Pumping out some steam there. I do agree that we need a beast of some sort, but I'm trying to figure out what beast, because everything here is a beast. It's, it's, that's, that's, like, the thing. I just don't know what what beast specifically um <laughs> actually you know what a plant yeah yeah I, I do need that I also have I, have I have two ideas do need a plant I would agree um that doesn't look like smoke no it does looks more like it all right so now we can add in, um, oh yeah, that's smoke. Okay, we'll add in a little plant and, and an herbivore. So add in a nice, um, oh, I'll do like a palm tree, kind of. These nice little serrated leaves that I'm also awesome at perspective. Uh, add in this palm tree type shape right here. Oh, and this palm tree type shape that has a, a little nub at the top because it's all bolted together. Add in just a straight, just a straight, um, straight s trunk. I was going to say stalk, but this is too big for a stalk. And it's a coconut tree, but it's a coconut tree as in it has like, you know, like mechanical, like, these these ones falling off of it for the birds to and the the creatures to eat and then it has a little uh, a little um robot squirrel has this nice little head here a big old wire tail sparking a little bit squirrels looking around yeah, all right. But I also just had an idea. Um, we're going to put him off in his own area. Just completely separate of this drawing. Off somewhere. Uh, a creature of incredible darkness, but not a uh, flashlight man. I don't know why I thought of it. I was just thinking we need a, a weird creature. Uh, and the image of Flashlight Man popped into my head. So that's what we're doing. Because <laughs> that's, that's how stuff happens. Sometimes. Just sort of, you gotta roll with it. So here he, here he comes. Flashlight, <laughs> Flashlight Man. <laughs> awesome. Wait. He's just, he's just a flashlight. 
He has this little he has his little switch, which is his nose. He has these nice little eyes. <laughs> he has a, a big old smile. A big old robot grin. Do you like that Futurama style robot mouth? Yeah. And he's just Oh man. He is just chilling out. Just full out. Just having a grand old time. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Kabam. <laughs> it's in his own. Uh, uh, Bella, you're too right. Flashlight man's light is brighter than my future. Yeah. Uh, when I'm homeless, people give me money. Anyways. Alright, so now we're getting to the good part where we do the shading. The shading, the, the shading bit. Alright. Cool. So this is just kind of the part where I get to talk while I shade in. So, yeah, I think, um, I think the theming's gonna stay. At least for a while. It does definitely help me better collect. Collect my thoughts and really think about you know, because they, they always end up having a theme in the end. So for, like, the for episode two, the worm, worm Ball episode, it sort of just became sports. Like, that's the type of thing I would come up with if I had just been given a the theme of sports. And so the theme thing really doesn't change much. Uh, I was worried that it would make the overall, like, tone or whatever of the show different, but it didn't seem to have done that. So we're going to keep it around for now. Uh, if you want to input vote on the on the theme, uh, I put out a poll on Twitter. I also will look at comments here on YouTube if you're if you have a, a an idea that I might not think of. So yeah, we'll look at I'll look around and see sort of what what I think would be would be good for the show. And that's how it's gonna work. Alright, look at look at this. There, there it is. Oh man, wait, let me take it just take a step back and sort of see what <laughs> Man. What a what a piece of art. <laughs> what a work. <laughs> I forgot about I forgot about this guy. Oh, he's beautiful. He's beautiful. <laughs> he's such a happy man. He's such a happy man. <sighs> man. It's a, it's a crazy world. That's, uh, and oh, and for like the theme of, I guess the first episode would have been like music. Because, you know, we had all that, all the jazz stuff, or jazz. One of, one of the two. Um... And then the third episode... What happened in the third episode? Oh yeah, that was the... I don't really know what the theme would have been for that one. It started off just being States of Matter. And then it became like... Um... Uh, I don't know. Just a messed up version of the play The Glass Menagerie. It's a disturbed version of that. Where, I mean, The Glass Menagerie wasn't even really about... Whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I know what the play was about. Um, but it's fine. It's all good. I'm just tired. Which is good, because that's one of the like key things about this show, is I'm, I'm supposed to be tired. <sighs> yeah. So I do... I do think the theme's fine. <laughs> I, I might change my mind at some point, because I do that a lot too often, but it's, it's cool for now. So we won't bother with it too much. The theme for uh, next time is either going to be, I know I have two of them, because how I'm gonna do it is, 
I, I always put three and other, and I put three, and then whichever one of those three that didn't, that got in, that was voted to be the one, I take that out, but I leave the other two in. So the vote this time is going to be, I believe it was early morning creatures. Uh, and I'm not going to change the time for that one. I'm just going to draw creatures that just woke up. The early morning creatures, uh, cloud creatures, or I haven't thought of the third one yet. So I'm going to do it live, live on air with, with you guys. Uh, let's see. I have no idea. Um, food. Food creatures. And if you don't want any of those, put put a different one in somewhere where I'll where I'll see it. Uh, and we we'll, we'll see we'll see what happens. All right, I've been here for a while, about thirty minutes. Let's get this centered so we can see the the horrible 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 thing that we've done thank you for joining me for late night creatures um, next week we'll see what it is I hope you all enjoyed it I'm very tired and I need to sleep so I'm not gonna make this a big deal bye I'll see you next time